Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a really neat lesson plan for your students that can be used from the lower grades through junior high and into high school. Um, it's really neat, very interactive, very fun for the kids, and it can be used for anything from English language arts to science to social studies. Um, it can be used in art, music, you name it. And you just have to be a little creative and kind of put it together the way you specifically want your students to be sharing information, um, but it would be great fun for them to use. What you're going to do is with a QR code generator, you're going to, you, the kids will create this QR code and that QR code will then have to be read with a QR code reader. Now, QR code readers are apps that can be added to any Apple device, any Android device, it could be put on a Chromebook, it can be put on and even on a laptop that has a um, camera that can see the QR code. It's like a scanner. So any if all you would have to do is go on to your internet browser and type in QR code reader and you'll see right here QR code scanner in the, in the iTunes store QR code reader on Android apps and Google Play and you can just add that app to your whatever device you're using and it will read the codes for you so that is how we find our QR code reader now let me show you how we're going to generate a QR code but first, I'm going to tell you a little about the lesson that I'm doing here. I'm actually doing a social studies lesson on um, past presidents. And my idea is to have a group of three students, three or four students, each studying one president from an era. And they are going to put together information and they're going to share it via their QR code. So we're going to use uh, Google Doc. We're going to use the QR code generator. And we're also going to use Vokaroo. Uh, Vokaroo is just a voice recorder. It's free and I like free. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have the students, they're, they're obviously going to collect all their information that they need to uh, have, whatever your rubric is that you want them to have, and they're going to put together a poster or something to hang on the wall. So I'm just going to have, I'm going to do Abe Lincoln here. I'm just going to copy his image real quick and pop it on here. that we have something visual for our students to see. And then you can either, if you wanted to, you could have them put information on here. You could have it just be the picture and that's, you know, what their visual aid is going to be. It's entirely up to you. And then for the Vokaroo aspect of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some information about Abraham Lincoln. Now, you could do it, you can have them do it in different voices, you can, I mean, there's so many ways that you can be creative with this project. I'm just, for ease of getting this out to you, I'm just going to record some information so we have something to listen to. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, and died April 15, 1865, at the age of 56. His home state was Illinois. His party was Republican, and he was president for four years, from 1861 to 1865, when he was assassinated. Okay, so I have some information here. I'm going to listen to it. Make sure that it's what I wanted. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, and died April 15, 1865, at the age of 56. His home state was Illinois. 
His party was Republican, and he was president for four years, from 1861 to 1865, when he was assassinated. Okay, once you have that all ready to go, you're going to click here to save. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you a URL. This is the URL that you're going to use to create your QR code. So we're going to copy that, and then I'm going to go to, oh, actually, it, you could do the QR code right here. And now you're going to copy this image and go back to our past president, or Google Doc that we created, and we're going to paste that QR code. And I like pasting the QR code towards the bottom of the page because if you have other information, you don't want it to be the primary thing they see. Oops. Okay, you're going to have to move that up. Now, when you have your QR code reader on your iPod or iPad or your Android phone or even on your Chromebook, what your students are going to do is they're going to go around from picture to picture and they're going to scan this QR code. So they're just going to point their device at the QR code and then what's going to happen is everything that you said on your Vocaroo recorder is going to play on their device. Now what I like to do is with like the iPads is put in their headphones so it's almost like they're going through a museum and they're listening to these things as they go through. Um, they, there's so many different ways that you can do this. The other thing you could do is you could use this QR code generator if you wanted to. Um, there's some ways that you can actually um, check to see how many times it's been used if you're wanting to um, monitor the use of it or track its use. Let's see if I can get that to come up for you. Okay, and then if you go into options. You can change the size of it. You can make it custom. So you can either use the QR code generator that Vokuru offers or you can make your own. Either way, it'll, it'll work exactly the same. Even some of the QR code generators that they have out there, you can make shapes, um, different colors. So it's, I mean, entirely up to you. You could be creative with this as well. So you have your picture and your QR code and then students go around and they're going to listen to the facts about Abraham Lincoln. Now some ideas that you can use with this is you could use it obviously in science with anything. You could use it with the water cycle, parts of a cell, parts of a body. So many things you can use with, with science. Um, social studies, any historical timeline with people or events such as with the presidents here, um, wars, many things you can use it for in social studies. Math, you could use it with geometric shapes. Um, you could do some, even some word problems with it. You could divide up parts of the word problems and put them on QR codes. Uh, art, great way you could use it in art is you could do it uh, if you were doing a project in the style of, and then you could have your students work of art on the wall with the QR code, and the QR code could be like them telling about the artist that they're painting or their work of art is in the style of. Uh, in the lower grades, you could do it with letters and sounds. You could do parts of speech. Um, you can have pictures of, you know, proper nouns and then have a definition of what a proper noun is. The possibilities are endless. You can have these as interactive flashcards. Um, you just need to be creative, but QR codes are just a fun way to get kids up moving around the classroom, uh, working in groups. It's just a fun, interactive way to bring some technology into your lesson. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you find it useful. Please give me some feedback and let me know what you think. Thanks.